Hi there fitness friends. Today we have a volume glute workout to do. This was written by our dear fitness friend Kristen Ritter. So if you like this workout, please leave it with a thumbs up and let Kristen know in the comment section. For this workout, I will be using my physio ball, my resistance band, my plyo box, and my weights. My weights will be my barbell and my kettlebell, and I don't think I'll be using my dumbbells at all. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but really, all you really need to get this workout done is some weights to challenge yourself. Um, if you have the other equipment, go ahead and grab it. You definitely don't need the ball. You definitely don't need the resistance band, but it really does help to make the moves more glute focused, okay? I have a body weight to body pair warm up. It's a little bit of cardio. Um, it's not your typical glute activating warm up, so you might want to push pause and get that done first and then come join me for the little Tabata cardio and then we'll hop right into this glute workout. I will see you in just a minute. All right guys, I am ready to hit start on our body weight Tabata pair warm up. We are doing a curtsy lunge hop to a sumo pulse in the center and then the other side curtsy lunge hop just going back and forth. Pairing that with a step up, lunge back and switch, okay? So I'll be using my plyo box for that. Hitting start right now, you have a 10 second countdown. Right there. So start in that curtsy lunge position. Get a nice little hop. Come to the center. Sumo. Pulse for one, two, three. Other side curtsy lunge. Hop. Back to the center for one, two, three. Curtsy lunge. Hop. Center. One, two, three. Nice job. So step up, lunge back, and switch. I have my extra yoga mat on this for when I do hip thrust, so I'm just gonna leave it there. So step up, lunge back, hop to switch. Nice job. So I am doing this workout barefoot. I always prefer to do my glute workouts barefoot. Um, I prefer to do any workout barefoot actually, but when it's in the winter time, I just cannot do it. It's too cold and it is the winter time right now. We are right smack in the middle of winter, but it's just one of those really weird, warm, 50, 60 degree weeks <laughs> in the winter. So, I'm taking advantage of that. My feet aren't freezing, so I'm not gonna wear socks or shoes. Step up, lunge back, hop the switch. It's really funny because our house is all hardwood floors throughout, and I can't stand in the wintertime walking around without socks and slippers on. My kids run around barefoot all the time. It just does not bother them. I don't know how. Hop it. I even stopped buying them slippers because they don't wear them. They just sit in their closets. Really focus that pulse on the squeeze of your glutes. Nice job. Step up, lunge back. One more full round here, and then we're going to start right into our first circuit. Pretty much hop. Pulse it. One, two, three. Pretty much hop. One, two, three. Hop it. One, two, three. Nice job. Okay. Going right into our first circuit. We have four moves, going from 20 reps down to 15 to 10 to five. 
We got, oops, did I forget one? I did, sorry. <laughs> Step up, lunge back, and switch. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I thought we started with this. <laughs> That's okay. Keep it going. Last 20 seconds here, and you're done. <laughs> we have our circuit. 20 reps, hip thrusts. 15 reps, ball, wall, squats. So that's just gonna be with my kettlebell and my ball behind my back. I'm gonna have my feet out quite far in front of me in a sumo stance, the kettlebell directly below me, squatting like this, using the ball, press the your back so you get at that angle. Okay, really fun new move. Um, then we are doing 10 sumo deadlifts and five curtsy lunges per leg. So these are my barbell for that. So the other two things I'm going to be using is my barbell, my 60 pound kettlebell, and my ball. All right, so get your area set and ready to work for you. For my hip thrust, I put my squat sponge on my bar and my back against my file box with an extra yoga mat on it to protect my back, okay? 20 reps, it's a long haul, but I want you to be sure that you get a good posterior pelvic tilt and squeeze with each rep. Let's go. Get your resistance band on if you have one. Get down underneath that bar. Roll it up over your hips. If your weights are not big enough to roll it up over your hips, you can try to put um, some razors on either side underneath your plates, like another set of plates or something like that works usually. Okay, let's do it. 20, one, two, press your knees out, three, tuck your chin, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Bring it down. Get out from underneath it. Take off the band. Go to your ball and your wall. Get it up behind your back. Kettlebells right under you. Feet are out in front and type of like a sumo stance. You've got 15 reps. Here we go. One, squeeze. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Drop it down. You've got ten sumo deadlifts. So toes and knees are out. Hands go directly down from your shoulders. Let's go, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five curtsy lunges per leg. Load up that weight if you're gonna stick with your bar. Step back into that lunge. One, two, three, four. Five, other side. One, two, three, 
four, five. Unload. We are back to the top. Keeping it moving. This is a circuit. A decent amount of moves to get through. Round two, coming at you. 20 reps, hip thrust. Make sure you have yourself comfortably set. A long way home with 20 reps, so let's do it. Knees are out, chin is tucked. Squeeze one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Bring it down. Get out from underneath that bar. You've got your 15 ball kettlebell wall squats. Guys, just in case you don't know, this might be a silly explanation, but I feel like if I wasn't more familiar with terminology, I wouldn't know this. A volume glute workout means higher reps, lower weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Bring it down, which actually probably works really well for a lot of you at home who don't have access to lots of heavier weight, right? So you want to still grow and gain strength, but you don't have the heavier weights to challenge yourself. You increase your rep ranges, okay? Increase that time under tension. Those are two tactics that we use. Let's go, 10 reps. Sumo deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Load it up for your curtsies. Five per leg. Nice deep steps into these lunges. One, two, three, four. Five, other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Unload. We are on to round three. You guys know how I feel about round threes. Round three is that round that that doubt starts to creep in and you start to think, oh, I can't get through this. Well, don't think that way. Just do it. Stop thinking about it. Stop talking about it. Be about it, right? Get underneath that weight. You've got 20 hip thrusts. Tuck your chin. Press those knees out. That's what that band's for. It's to activate those adductor muscles. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Bring it down. Hi, Muffin. <laughs> Hi, little Muffin.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. You've got five fancy lunges per leg. Move it up. Step into it. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, this is it, your final round. We are up to fifth round, 20 hip thrusts. Get a drink quick. All right, let's get it done. We're moving on after this to another tub bottom pair, okay? So, plow through it. Pull that weight up over your hips. Get yourself set. Make this your best squeezes yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Drop it down. Roll it off. Done with those. Thank goodness. Get those out of your way. 15 ball wall squats. Final round. These are tough, right? You get that right angle, you can really feel it right in your lower glute, like the hamstring and glute connector area. That's where I feel it. Get that ball on a comfortable spot. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, drop it down, set that ball out of your way for now, 10 sumo deadlifts, toes and knees are out, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Unload. Can you 
made it through that brutal first circuit. Okay, scrolling down. We have a ball hamstring curl paired with a kettlebell hang clean. 20 second intervals, 10 seconds rest, okay? And hit start right away. Starting now. You got it. Let's go. Hamstring curls on your back, on the mat. Ball out in front of you, feet on top. Pulling it in. If you don't have a ball, you use sliders. If you don't have sliders, lay on your belly and pull your legs up as if you're doing a hamstring curl on a machine. Really tightening your hamstring muscles <sighs> using either ankle weights, a band, or nothing, okay? Those are all options for that move. I'll lay this right here on the mat for me. <sighs> Head cleans. Let's go. Power that weight up. Get under it. Squat to stand. Again. Nice work. I'm gonna push this a little further out of my way. I'd like to have a clear area. Hamstring curls, let's go. Squeeze up, pull in. Keep those hips up the entire time. Don't let them drop. job. Hang cleans. Maybe if I say it quietly with a smile, it's not so bad, right? <laughs> Focus on each part of the movement. Hang it. Power. Squat. You got it. Nice job. Hamstring curls, we are halfway done with this Tabata pair. Press up, pull in. Oh, I feel those burns so much. gorilla mat. It is a foot bigger than my other one, but this is literally the first time I've used it. So I will give you a review and a link if I like it in the next video. First time trying it out. So far so good. It feels a lot like my Gym X mat. The same thickness. Seems squishy level. Seems really durable. I don't at all think that sneakers or weights will tear it up or shred it. Keep those hips up. I'm not really sure about the slippery level yet. Maybe after these tomato pairs, I'll let you know. <laughs> Deficit kettlebell squats. 
Rather than take the time to set up a deficit right now, I'm just going to do it right on the floor, okay? So, hitting start. Starting with the reset swing. Out in front of you. Swing, reset. Swing, reset. Nice job. So the deficit is only if you're going to be going below the level of the floor anyway. So just a little bit shorter range of motion. You're just squatting. Nice job. Flat back. Chest up. Butt out. Squeeze at the top. Reset swings. Here we go. Grateful 
of all the movements your body can do for you, whether it's lighter weight, heavy weight, or no weight. Okay? And yes, you can even drop the weight for hand cleans. Just bend down, touch your toes, raise your hands up, squat. Okay? Practice that movement if you don't like the hand clean. All right, here we go. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five front squats. I'm just keeping this weight up. One. Two. Elbows up. Three, four, five. Drop it down. This is not a complex, but I will complex those two moves versus doing an extra power clean. We got five power cleans now. One. momentum, squeeze your glutes when you get that weight up. Power comes from your hamstrings and your glutes in this move. Here we go. And your hip. One. All the way down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, one and one half, RDLs, bringing in deadlifts, starting up at the top. Here we go, all the way down. All the way up, halfway down, halfway up, that's one. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, nice work. So you can shake it out, set it down. You've got rounds four and five left. I'm keeping those as five rep rounds. So five hand cleans into five front squats. Let's go. One.
ball, hamstring curls. So press up, pull it in for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down, get in position for one bridge. That's it. All right, now we have nine ball hamstring curls. Press up, pull it in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring it down. You've got two bridges. One, two. All right, you have eight curls. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hips up. Six, oh, seven, eight. Down. Three bridges. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> this is where it really starts to get dicey. Seven curls. One, two, three, hips are up, four, five, six, seven, four bridges, one, two, three, four. It's for me, it's really like, I always think it's going to be the hamstring curls, but it's the bridges that kill your hamstrings. <laughs> Let's go, we got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's holding that ball in position and that contraction. Let's go, we got five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay, you get down to the five hamstring curls. One, two, three, four, five, and six bridges. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, four hamstring curls. One, two hips up. Three, four, six, seven bridges. Deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, the shaking is so real right now. Three curls. One, two, Three, eight bridges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two curls. One, two, nine bridges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One curl and ten bridges to the end. Pull it in, push it out, down. Ten ball bridges and you're done. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy smokes. <laughs> okay, if that didn't leave you oh, with a pump, then I'm not sure what will. <laughs> My goodness, that just kills me every single time. Go ahead and touch your toes oh, or the mat. Bend your knees if you need to. That was just a killer hamstring finisher. 
and loop. <sighs> oh. Okay, guys. Oh, man. Kristen, I really love that workout. I was afraid of those that five rounds of 20 rep hip thrusts, but we got through it. Guys, let her know what you liked in the comments. I love you all so much. I will see you at the next workout.